Hey guys, it's me Tracy here at TYS Creates. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I just want to share with you what I am sending to Sam for our bi-monthly swap. I did use the Maggie Holmes Garden Party again, and I think this is going to be my last time for, uh, for right now. It is time to move on to another paper collection. So let me just get right into it to share with you what I'm sending her. First thing I'm sending is this, and these are just samples of some yarn that I have in these pretty, pretty colors. And then I am sending this set of bows. Love, love, love how they turned out. And this is a um, cut from Cricut Design Space. So, so pretty. Love these. I am also sending these flowers right here as well so so pretty and I have little um, ceramic roses in the center of them as you can see this one is pink and then I have yellow in some of them as well I did a lot of embellishments for this swap too <clears throat> okay I also did this fry box I absolutely love how this turned out. I have had this dye for so long, and I'm just now getting um, to use it. I have this pretty um, embellishment here that I created on the front with some beads dangling off of it. And then in the inside, I just did some um, rosettes, plain rosettes for her to decorate as she would like to. And then I have these tassels that I created with the um, ceramic um, is this ceramic? this might not be ceramic but with the, I think this is but you see what they are, these little roses <laughs> in the center of them love, love, love how that turned out and then I um, got one of my Gable boxes, and this I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I just put a sticker on the front of it. Very, very simple. But in the inside, it is loaded with cupcakes. Love how these turned out. So stinking cute. And this is also um, from the Cricut Design Space. So stinking cute. I just used the, um, what do you call this? <coughs> Sequin to put on top. So, so cute. And I also have some shakers in here as well. I did these rainbow shakers. Love how it turned out. So stinking cute. This is the next one. And then I have two plain ones for her to decorate as she would like to. So definitely love those. And then I did another one of these backpacks. I did a couple of backpacks for Teacher Appreciation Week. And Sam is also a teacher, so um, I think that she would like this. The front is very simple. I did very little decorating on it. I put this swan here, which was gifted to me in a swap so long ago. And then I just used this little um, chipboard sticker here. I have the button here to close it and put a few stickers on the front. This is the back, and I think I'm going to put some... Um, on the back, I'm going to add some um, charms on the back to hang as well. But in the inside, I did some hand on in the way. I did some library cards. This is the first one. I uh, received this bow in a swap as well. You see the little Hobby Lobby girl. And this is a an award embellishment. And on the front of it is a rosette that I received in a swap a while back. And I also have some bling in here as well. And I did two of those. So, so cute. And then I have two of the um, banners and two of the library cards for her to decorate as she sees fit. And then I did this book box 
love how this turned out as well the side and the back of it so so cute and in the inside it is full of embellishments as well i have some of the um butterfly bag toppers here <laughs> I have some tags, different sizes, and I have a bunch of these little flowers that I created as well. So cute, and I just put um, bling in the middle of them. So those turned out cute, and these are from Cricut Design Space as well, and so are these little tags here. Okay, what else do I have going on? Okay, I have these embellishments here that I created. Love how they turned out. The cake, um... The cake stand is a die by Tim Holtz, but the cake itself is from Cricut Design Space. I just put a jewel down here at the bottom, a butterfly, and a flower in the center. And just love how these turned out as well. So cute. And then this is the last one. And... Like I said, I did a lot of embellishments for this particular swap. Let's see what else I got going on. Let me try to put these back in. And you know what? Let me do that later. I have these rosettes that I created. Two of them I want, two of them I did want to embellish. And um, the rest of them are plain, like I said, for her to embellish. And I love how these turned out. So, so stinking cute. I have this little trim here. My um, tool, you know, I love working with tool in the background. This puffy heart and this cute little fox here. And then this little chicken and rose in the background. Super adorable. Love those. And then I have these here. I think I have two of these. Okay, here it is. These are some strips that I cut out from Cricut Design Space. And I just used some things from my stash to embellish them with. You see that trim again and the tool, these roses. This is a piece that, that was gifted to me a while back in a swap that I did. And it just went perfect right there. And look at this tool. It has white polka dots in it love it love it love it and then i did a second one here you go and i did stitch across the middle of it and i love this little string hanging from it so so cute and i have this little box here um i want to say that i got this box from Michaels and I did not decorate the top of it because I do actually like seeing all the pretty colors on the top and also if she wanted to gift this to somebody else and she wanted to decorate the top of it I wanted to leave the option for her to do that and in the inside I do have more embellishments that I have created and let's start with this I love these pins. So, so stinking cute. Love how these turned out. And I will definitely be doing more of these. And then I have these here. And some of these embellishments that I'm using as far as decorating, um, I actually got from Sam. This banner was a part of something that she sent me. And I just cut the base out with my um, Cricut with my Cricut machine and added some little beads here on the side with butterflies and this little bird in the background. And then I have another one here. <clears throat> so, so cute. I love how these turned out. And then this is yet another one. 
And this is another strip that I cut out with um, Cricut Design Space as well. Stitch down the middle again and just use things from my stash to decorate it. And this is the last one. Love how it turned out. And um, I saw Crafty Kimchi video that she did with these little rings here and they are so so cute but i do have to say when i took them apart and put the embellishments on it i had a hard time putting it back together i did use some of that e6000 or e3000 glue and then even after that they came loose so i'm hoping that they stay together and um, not come apart because these are really really cute love how they turned out and then these are just some strips that um, I sewed for her again if she wanted to make some embellishments with these she definitely has the option to do so and I think that is about it I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. Thank you to my new subbies. I definitely appreciate it. And you know that I definitely appreciate you watching. You guys have a great crafty day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.